We all know them in some way. Most of us will have seen them in documentaries, movies or series, and some lucky ones might even boast of having seen them in person, describing them as some of the most amazing monuments in human history. We are talking about nothing more and nothing less than the Pyramids of Giza, considered one of the seven wonders of the ancient world and one of the most enigmatic and mysterious monuments of antiquity. It is no coincidence that Nikola Tesla, the famed inventor who has gone down in history as one of the most wonderful minds of the last century, if not the most incredible, confessed to having a sort of obsession for these historical monuments, making them the object of study throughout his life. But, what could be the relationship between the pyramids and Nikola Tesla? Did the inventor discover a secret that remains hidden from our view? Join us to discover and explore this story. Located about 15 kilometers southwest of the center of Cairo, the three pyramids of Giza rise in the middle of a desert plateau. Shrouded in a halo of mysticism and mystery, the origin of the pyramids, which according to most scholars date back between 2500 and 2400 years before Christ, is full of contradictions, of questions and answers, that attracted the incessant attention of an inventor who lived in the middle of the last century. For many, Nikola Tesla's obsession with the pyramids is of no interest, there is no denying that Tesla was an eccentric and peculiar man who became obsessed with a multitude of subjects in his life. In the last years of his life, he developed a strange obsession with pigeons, even falling in love with one and declaring that he loved the bird as a man loves a woman, as well as having a particular interest in the number three, considering this number, as well as all those divisible in it, as a sort of magic numbers that were present in everything. He went around every building he had to enter three times, only occupied rooms numbered three at a time, this might make one hesitate to take him seriously, but he was a genius who was ahead of his time in many respects. Tesla invented the alternating current system, the same one we use today all over the world, developed more than 300 patents, and, more or less directly, at least 80% of the technology we use today comes from his legacy, so it is worthwhile to put skepticism aside and open our minds to what this peculiar and eccentric genius had to say about the pyramids. Tesla based the largest and most ambitious of his patents, patent 787412, called the art of transmitting electrical energy through the natural medium, inspired by the pyramids. For Tesla, the planet was a sort of giant energy generator with the potential to produce unlimited energy, an energy that traveled around the world passing through the poles and that could be harnessed. Thus was born in 1899 the Tesla Experimental Station in Colorado Springs, and, years later, in 1905 the Wardenclyffe Tower or Tesla Tower on the East Coast. There is a multitude of amazing stories and anecdotes surrounding these towers. In the case of the Wardenclyffe Tower, Tesla produced artificial lightning that reached millions of volts and has been the subject of impressive stories. Tesla discovered and affirmed that in the past the pyramids were covered with limestone, which served as an insulator, that their inner blocks contained small metals and crystals and that their shafts were made of granite. However, beyond the shape of the pyramids, Tesla discovered that their great secret lay more in their precise position on the planet than in their shape. Although the pyramids accumulate fractal energy much more efficiently than other figures, the reality is that the three pyramids of Giza are located in a sort of midpoint between the elliptical orbit of the Earth and the line of the equator. And it was precisely for this reason that Tesla built his two towers in Colorado Springs and the East Coast. His obsession with the numbers 3, 6 and 9 are considered by many to be an expression that the inventor was trying to imply that mathematics was more something we humans had discovered than something we had created. As a kind of unique and universal language throughout the cosmos, and it does not vary no matter where you are in the universe. Mathematical patterns are in all expressions of nature and, even as a human creation, the pyramids are no exception so many believe they were created by the ancients as a way of reminding more distant future generations of these universal truths. 
The Egyptians may be the oldest of the civilizations that erected colossal monuments designed to harness the energy of the earth and transmit great teachings, but they are far from being the only cultures that tried to harness this energy or that thought in a similar way to Nikola Tesla. If we change continent, more precisely to Southeast Asia, in what is now Cambodia, we find the pyramids of Angkor, gigantic structures that have become the last surviving part of the Khmer Kingdom, and that has more to do with the pyramids of Giza than being monuments of an ancient culture. Angkor is, in a precise and impressive way, located about 70 degrees latitude from the pyramids of Giza, at a point that many scholars of the subject consider an ideal place to tap into the Earth's energy, as has been said of the pyramids of Egypt or the Tesla Towers in the Colorado Springs and the West Coast, a tradition that is not unique to these two cultures. In the case of the pyramids of Giza, located both at the bottom of these colossal monuments and inside them, there are walls and walls tattooed with enigmatic hieroglyphs that did nothing more than relate the mysteries of the afterlife that, according to the Egyptians, awaited people when they died. In the case of Angkor, built in honor of the Hindu goddess Vishnu, we are talking about a place with a millenary tradition focused on spiritual transcendence and rebirth. To the awakening of a deeper and higher consciousness in the human being, a tradition that was used by many of the cultures that populated Angkor. It is also curious to note a not inconsiderable number of theories that suggest that the pyramids of Giza had a much more ambitious and sweeping objective than to provide a large amount of energy for the use of the population since, after all, or at least as far as we know, the technology was not as developed in those times as it is today. Many believe that both the location of the pyramids and the millenary stratum where they were built were erected with the aim of bringing back Osiris, god of the cycles of life and death who, according to legend, was a just ruler who had been killed by his evil brother Seth, with the help of his wife Isis, and the god of mummification Anubis, succeeded in triumphing over death. This approach so given to the transcendence of life over death awakens numerous theories, from referring directly to specific events or simply serving as lessons. From serving as a sort of message to guide us into the future and to understand our place in the cosmos. When analyzing the mathematics found in the pyramids, an infinity of very curious numbers emerges. It has been discovered that they are carefully oriented towards the north, with a minimum variation and that, if you measure in the correct way certain proportions of the largest of the pyramids, the result ends up being the exact measurements of the planet Earth. Not a few scholars of ancient civilizations, including scientists such as Nikola Tesla himself, have professed an almost absurd admiration and devotion for these colossal monuments, which continue to be talked about even after thousands and thousands of years of construction and which will surely continue to be talked about in a much more distant future.